In this video, I will walk you through the verification process for your Uphold Wallet and Exchange. This is essential and cannot be skipped. Your Uphold account must be verified and your KYC or Know Your Customer is compliant with Uphold requirements. This process is for your security and is rather precise in its implementation. Before you sign up with Uphold, take note of this very, very important detail. The resident home address on your picture ID, for example, your driver's license, government issued picture ID, or passport, must match the address you initially signed up with in your Uphold account. Again, what is critical when you sign up initially is to use the address on your chosen picture ID as your address. So now we can get started. Go and sign up to create your Uphold account with the correct home address. This process was explained in the previous video on starting an Uphold account. When you complete the sign-up procedures, come back to this tutorial and you will finish the verification process. First things first, get comfortable, make some coffee, or if it's hot outside, maybe a cold refreshing drink. In other words, relax and take your time the first time, because that will save you hours and hours of frustration. If you follow these simple and precise instructions carefully and pay attention to all the details, you will exceed the first time through and the entire process can be done in 15 minutes. The first two steps you have probably already done, but if not, the first step is to enter your email and password. Second, enter your name, first and last, your username, your state or province, and your date of birth. Next, you will acknowledge your confirmation email. You should receive it shortly. You may also ask to have it resent. After confirming, you'll be taken to the secure account page where you will enter your country code and phone number. Please note, you can only have one Uphold account connected to one cell phone number and not multiple accounts. Your cell phone number is used for two-factor verification in order to protect your account and can only be connected to one account. Remember, this is where your money is going to be held, so you want it safe. Only someone with your cell phone and all your passwords can have access to your account. That's really pretty cool and some very powerful security. In order to even better protect your account and at the same time make it easier to perform your two-factor validation, we suggest that you download the Authority app on your smartphone and use the number it generates every 20 seconds rather than the SMS feature. You can find more information on this by going to the upper right and clicking underneath your username, the Help tab. That will bring you to this section where you can learn about phone number verification and exactly how to set up your 2FA two-factor authentication. Now to the verification process. First, enter your current residential address. And this must match the government ID you use for the next process. So be very careful to make sure they match exactly. Next, you will provide a very clear image of a valid government issued ID. Your choices are passport, national ID card, or driver's license. Now you accomplish this by taking a well-lit, in focus, no corners cut off picture of your government issued picture ID or other ID and remember to shoot both front and back of these IDs. Later on, only if needed, you can take a picture of your current utility bill with your cell phone as well. Next, shoot a clear photo of your face. It is best to have someone take a picture for you rather than to do a self picture because if you use the self side of your smartphone, the lens is not as precise as the regular picture taking side of a smartphone. However, if you have a newer smartphone, selfies usually will work. Just make sure it is very clear by using good lighting and that it shows your whole face. 
Now check to see that all the pictures of you are well lit, in focus, and it is important that all four corners must be present in the photo. No part of the ID can be cropped off in any way. You confirm this by clicking each of the pictures individually, then enlarge them and review each one. If you're using a passport as your ID, the top and bottom of your passport must be shown. If you use an ID like a driver's license, both front and back pictures of the ID must be loaded. If they all look great, proceed. If not, redo the bad ones. If you use a smartphone, click on each photo and email it to your own email account. Once they are all received, download them into a folder on your computer so that you can have them all in one place. Now you can open your computer and complete uploading your documents into the Uphold verification process from the folder in your computer as needed. It is possible to do the same thing on a cell phone if you are very good. We suggest using a computer for the verification submission process as it is a lot easier. Uphold uses a third-party vendor facial recognition software for the first attempt at passing KYC and becoming verified. If you do everything correctly, with good lighting, clear focus, no corners cropped off, and correct matching address with your ID, you will likely succeed with your first attempt. If you fail this first try, you'll have to wait around three days to receive an email and have your account reset to try it again. Remember to check your spam folder for the reply email. It is often ends up over there. Avoid having to enter the second tier verification at all costs. Take the time to do your first attempt correctly. If you're bumped to the second tier verification process, a live person will have to review your IDs and you will now be required to submit second tier documentation, which often involves two government issued IDs, a possible current utility bill with proof of your current residency and a picture with you holding a picture ID next to your face. Once that process starts, it can take a week or more to get verified, and many more documents will be needed to be sent in and get verified. So, take the time to do it right the first attempt, and let the automatic computer system handle the task in less than five minutes. Congratulations, you should be verified very shortly. And, I will see you on the next training video. Thanks for watching.